Drug shortages of all kinds reached a five year peak at the end of last year, and officials say this really poses devastating, even deadly consequences. Brianna Hamblin's joining us live now from Vanderbilt University Medical Center with more. And Brianna, do we know how many drugs uh, officials are saying have been affected here? Well, Ben and Rebecca, the study says that the drug shortages almost reached 30 percent. It surged by 30 percent, impacting 295 products that people need for their health. The, this news is coming from a report from the United States Senate Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs. One of the causes it points to is the U.S. has been relying more on other countries like China and India to manufacture our drugs, which means supply chain issues and politics can get in the way of us getting the treatments we need. Not everything is due to overseas production, though. The asthma drug albuterol was impacted when a major manufacturer had to close down after filing for bankruptcy last month. Another cause is some drugs were in high demand during the COVID-19 pandemic and are now dealing with delays. Experts say some manufacturers make the same drug for several different brands, so people may have the false belief that there are multiple sources of a drug to choose from when there isn't. According to the American Society of Health System Pharmacists, other major drugs facing shortages right now are amoxicillin oral tablets and powder, which is an antibiotic, morphine injections, prednisone oral tablets, which is a steroid, and sodium chloride or IV saline. The report concluded saying that Congress has to step up to address the supply chain issues in order to solve this because this could continue to pose both health and national security risks. Back to you.